my name is Alberto Sant'Agostino. I'm the head of uh, Cell and Gene Technology of Lonza. Lonza is a CDMO that is uh, extremely committed to the space and wants to serve this industry really to do the journey toward uh, commercialization. Innovation is coming from the small companies. We can cut the pie as you like, we can look in many different ways, but fundamentally even the products that are reaching today, the market started in university, started with researchers, started with small companies that went after important ideas. So it's very important to cascade the experience of what could be the commercial manufacturing and actually bringing drugs to the broader public to how you think and we think all together about commercializing these new modalities. So thinking early about a good process development, thinking early about manufacturability and thinking early about how you will make the manufacturing aspect, not the critical part, is one of the fundamental things that is important to think about to not get into important setbacks just before the pre-approval inspection or the submission to the regulator. The game we are playing is a very different, also from a manufacturing standpoint. If you think about the implication, we have always been uh, uh, tr thinking about drugs as a nice growing curve that gets to the prevalence level of the population that we want to treat based on the penetration that we think we can achieve. Now, if we really believe, and we do believe as a community into curative concept, what we will have is that we will have a super fast ramp up toward what you could call the peak of prevalence, and then a kind of a slowdown toward what we can call the normal occurrence of incidence. And this is much more important for chronic diseases. So what will imply from a manufacturing standpoint is that you will have to ramp up your operation in an incredibly fast way, not to find yourself that you cannot satisfy the market, while at the very same time, as soon as you stabilize your operations, you will have a situation in which you may have to decrease your operations intensity because the demand will decrease quite substantially. And so it's very difficult to, to do this as a standalone company or with a one product. Either the pipeline is pretty big and dense, or this will create pretty much a complexity. So if before, when we were talking about uh, recombinant protein, we were thinking about uh, capex that were in the hundreds of million, here we should think about putting ourselves not in a situation in which opex will be unmanageable. The other big difference that we need to think about is that we need to move to a concept of mass customization. Every patient will be different. Every patient will need to be treated in a different way. We see that in the concept of CAR T's, but this will probably be also in the concept of viral vector. Is that impossible to think that every kid at birth based on a genetic assessment will be treated all together for all the relevant diseases that need to be changed? And so kind of a tailored package for each individual. So when we think about industrialization, it's good to think it about the old way, like the monoclonal antibodies. But then we need to have the reality of thinking this as in a way like a mass customization. Just to conclude, I want to put a positive spin to the overall uh, um, discussion that I put forward. We need to think it about a journey together. We need to think about working on multiple axes, and I call it the cubic effect. We often think all about technology, but technology is very important, but sometimes there are very, very simple, important things to do on the operations side, in defining good tack time, fitting operation to shift of labors, defining operations that are simply in closed system, and then it's also extremely important to work on raw materials, elimination of uh, components that are expensive or other things that are particularly uh, complex. So on this side, <clears throat> if you combine the effect of all these things together, you really can get to a paramount shift of the, of the paradigm of how you will actually treat patients and how you will deliver things in a safe, more robust, and definitely more inexpensive way. And this is possible. It has been possible to be seen in the monoclonal antibodies. Lones and most of the other players also played into this game. And the journey that you've seen is the one of the curve with monoclonal antibody that started back in the original days costing thousands and thousands of dollars and today approaching the $10 per gram. On the basis of this, we need to really think about manufacturability and industrialization early on because the approach of the regulator is really to speed up the clinical development and quite easily and quite early the technical development is going to become the bottlenecking 
and is kind of also important to acknowledge that if there is a great science and is a great biology and a great clinical approach, the aspect of the technical development should be put at service of the broader spectra of so many smaller companies that is at the heart of what we are trying to do. And on this, I thank you very much. I hopefully sparked some ideas about the importance of thinking long-term commercial manufacturing and industrialization. And feel free to reach out in case you would like to talk to me or have questions. <laughs>